Welcome to Friday of the 10th week in Ordinary Time. The first reading is taken from 1 Kings. At the mountain of God Horeb, Elijah came to a cave where he took shelter. But the word of the Lord came to him, Go outside and stand on the mountain before the Lord. The Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rendering the mountains and crushing rocks before the Lord, but the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake, there was a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire, there was a tiny whispering sound. When he heard this, Elijah hid his face in his cloak and went and stood at the entrance of the cave. A voice said to him, Elijah, why are you here? He replied, I have been most zealous for the Lord, the God of hosts. But the children of Israel have forsaken your covenant, torn down your altars, and put your prophets to the sword. I alone am left, and they seek to take my life. The Lord said to him, Go, take the road back to the desert near Damascus. When you arrive, you shall anoint Hazael as king of Aram. Then you shall anoint Jehu, son of Nimshi, as king of Israel, and Elisha, son of Shaphat, of Amabahola as prophet to succeed you. The word of the Lord. I love today's um, reading from 1 Kings, where Elijah was waiting for God to pass by. So imagine yourself waiting for someone or something. You don't know how this person looks. You don't know um, in what shape or form the being will come. And you don't know the timing. What you do know is that the word of God came to you and said, Go outside and stand on the mountain, for I will be passing by. Put yourself in Elijah's shoes for a minute. You are standing outside and you hear this heavy wind passing by. And you look around and ask yourself, Is this it? God, are you here? No answer. He waits some more. Then there was an earthquake. God, is that you? Elijah shouted. But there was no answer. Then there was a fire. And you ask, is the all-powerful God that I am looking for in this mighty fire? There was no answer. You have been waiting for a grand entrance. A statement that says, I am all-powerful and I'm here. But then, since God was not in the heavy wind, the earthquake, or the fire, you sit down and close your eyes, and you decided you will let go of the anticipation of waiting and quiet yourself from the noise around you and just wait for God to reveal God's self to you. And it is then that you hear a tiny whispering sound and God was within that little whisper. I think that most of the time our lives get bombarded with noise, chaos, and high expectations that we so many times miss the whispering sound. With all that is going on in our world today with coronavirus, the riots, people being laid off from work, the economy going into a downward slump. We sometimes miss the visitation of God. God can appear in that moment when your child gives you a hug. Your neighbor greets you the time of the day. In someone sharing their mangoes with you from their tree. A call from a friend just checking in. Sharing a smile with a stranger as you pass them writing care cards to someone to say, I'm thinking of you. And this list can go on. 
We sometimes miss God in the simple little things, but it is the simple little things that make up life. If we keep expecting God to appear in the big, grand things, we will miss out on what is right in front of us. So today, as we get called to stand on the mountains, or in the streets, or at work or school, or in our homes, let us take the time to stop and pay attention to the little presence of God in our lives. Have a blessed day.